Oh, lost it again by Nate. They caught me doing something really naughty. I was uh, trying to carve my girlfriend's initials into the tree. I guess every guy's done that. Looks like somebody else had theirs there. I was gonna cross Phyllis out and put Dessa, my girlfriend, in there. It's really not a good idea, you know, to cut into trees. It's kind of a version of scarification, like certain indigenous tribes do in other parts of the world, Brazilian rainforest, Africa, that kind of stuff. So anyways, I tried to do it, I got busted, but this is a ficus tree. Now this does bring up a good point here. So. We've got a lot of ivy here. So ivy can be really bad for trees because ivy like this has tendrils on it, which grows into the tree. So imagine you're a tree and these tendrils are like growing into your skin and your body. That'd be a real problem for you going forward. So uh, when we work in this tree, when I work in these kind of trees or any tree that has ivy in it, I like to peel the ivy down uh, to the ground. So, okay, so again, this is a ficus. Now we've done a ficus benjamina. This is a different type of ficus. This is called ficus nidida. Same family, uh, slightly different leaf and uh, structure to the trunk. So, but all ficus have, as you can see here, these notoriously infamous topical and highly invasive root systems. So, Nate the Great, look, pan down here and just show these cracks. Show people what roots can do. You know, like the show Roots with Alex Haley. Uh, Humans have roots, we have ancestral roots, we have roots currently wherever we live. Trees have roots. And we need to be very careful about the type of tree that we plant and where we plant it. So we can't do anything about this now. This tree's been here for decades. What we are gonna do is we're gonna trim this tree, we're gonna lace this out, we're gonna open it up, and uh, then we'll come back on the flip side of this and uh, we'll show you what it looks like laced out. Lights, here. camera, action! All right, we're on the scene one more time with Nate the Great. This guy's totally insane with his magic iPhone. He does the nuttiest stuff. So we have a, a before shot of this ficus nidida. You can see how wooly, it looks like a mastodon, you know, like a, a gorilla. It's just totally wooly. We're gonna, we're gonna tame that thing. And here we are on the flip side. This is one that we just tamed with the mighty razor sharp saw. You can now look through this tree. You can see the architecture and the structure but as you stand back, the farther back you go from this, and don't trip over that tarp behind you, Nate, back away, the farther away you get, you, you'll see that it really doesn't look all that manhandled. But when you get underneath it, you can see the architecture of the tree just standing out in beautiful bar relief. Fabulous. So this is what we've done. Uh, my boss up there is just giving me a call right now, telling me I better get my butt back to work before I get in trouble. So I'm heading back to the factory with my saw, and we're going to work on another tree, and then we'll show you the other side of what it looks like. Whisper her out. Hi, everybody. It's Gary Walker, the tree whisperer. And as you can see, I am up the proverbial tree. This is better than being up the creek. I'm up the tree. This is really my native habitat. When I was a kid, I grew up making tree forts in these kind of trees. I absolutely love it. So I still get to be a kid at my age, 39. Right. Anyways, this is one of the beautiful ficus trees that was super, super woolly that we laced out. We gave it a fairly aggressive haircut because ficus trees grow really fast. They're notoriously aggressive trees, not just with a root system, but in terms of growth. So six, 12 months from now, this tree will be fluffed out really nice again. It'll look beautiful. So this is a whole lot of fun being up here. It's kind of like being in a skyscraper. I really enjoy it. And uh, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to yet another episode of Gary Walker, the tree whisperer, and the adventures that we get into wherever we go, whatever tree and whatever country it represents, that's what we're going to end up talking about. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the other side.